I studied fashion at the Royal College of Art and the biggest thing I took away from it was to enjoy designing as well as taking it really seriously. Uh, there were really big changes from working for James Long to Iceberg, but I had always worked as a consultant on other collections in the meantime, so it wasn't such a big jump for me. But definitely when I became a creative director, you, you direct a full team, so you're not just working with a small family like Energy, you're working with a big team. And obviously I'm working in another country, so it's in another language as well. So you kind of have to develop a way of communicating that wasn't necessarily language. My most surprising lesson is that I always must remember to trust myself because when you see the collection come together from sketch to reality and it is how you wanted it to be, I realise, you know, you have to keep it focused and make your vision come true. I don't really prepare myself to get into a creative flow because it's not really something you switch on or off. It's part of my life. If I see something that inspires me, you have to take it in and process it then. It's kind of with you all the time. I think the fact that I've spoke to my design team daily, we've been creating, has kind of kept a level of normality for me and them. With everything else changing around you, the creativity has been the constant. I think I've always worked from home, so working in my pyjamas has just been a normal thing and it's actually became part of my kind of look in a way and I kind of made a career out of it. But in a way I kind of feel like wearing a tailored suit now because everyone else is in their pyjamas. Fashion's relationship with tech is fantastic when it takes the world forward and creates a new type of fashion, but I also really believe in training your eye and using your drawing skills. So I kind of think you have to balance and edit between the two. The first music video I ever remember seeing was Boy George Culture Club. And I remember just thinking, wow, who's that brilliant person dancing on a boat? And I just wanted to be in the video. There's been so many memorable fashion moments on MTV, but I definitely remember watching Madonna Vogue video for the first time and just wanting to be with those people and wanting to be a lady with an attitude and fella that was in the mood. I think when I started designing, it was around me, but it wasn't so popular. And it really excites me now how people have the freedom to dress in the way they want to. Students of the future, and I absolutely adore seeing what they're coming up with, their new ideas, and MTV is such an iconic brand that I've grown up with that's inspired me. The two things were just a wonderful match. Number one, always originality. Number two, I want to see a breadth of being able to work from commerciality to capital, which is a really diverse talent. And I just want to see something that makes me want to wear it. I'd love the winner to experience Milan completely. It's a different place from anywhere in the world. I want them to enjoy the people, the fashion, and just generally soak up the excitement. If I had one piece of advice to give fashion students, it would be surround yourself with a great team of people who inspire you that you want to work with, because you spend a lot of time with them. And within that, learn to trust your eye and trust your instincts and be creatively who you want to be.